came dangerously close to too many men. Snatched away, McDavid makes a move. Tucks it home for the equalizer. Connor McDavid is the best hockey player in the world, and I know that isn't exactly a bold statement. That's not to disregard a minority who might argue otherwise, but in challenging that opinion, I'd blatantly say you're wrong. McDavid's unique combination of skill and speed puts him on a completely different pedestal in comparing him among his peers, and as his career progresses, I'd expect that conversation to shift in how he's compared amongst the all-time greats, much like we're seeing with the likes of Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin. Getting to the point of this video, though. A future where McDavid's name is paralleled with the likes of Mario Lemieux and Wayne Gretzky is by no means out of the question. There's a lot of work to be done, especially when it comes to winning, but it is feasible. Ditching the future and focusing on the past and present, Connor McDavid isn't Mario Lemieux and nor is he Wayne Gretzky, but a more appropriate comparison comes in the form of Yaramir Yager. From 1993 to 2001, Yager scored 859 NHL points for the best eight-year stretch of his entire career. In that time, Yager won five scoring titles while also being voted as an MVP finalist in five different seasons. In comparing his dominance to that of 97's, let's take a look at McDavid's most recent eight seasons, removing his rookie campaign from the equation. Since 2016, McDavid has accumulated 873 points while also winning five scoring titles and also being voted an MVP finalist on five different occasions. While Yager scored 38 more goals, McDavid scored 52 more assists, which brings us to our first disclaimer of sorts. Prime Yager is a very different player than Connor McDavid. At 6'3 and 230 pounds, the Czechoslovakian native was a full-on brick shithouse possessing the shot, strength, and hands that would help define his greatness. McDavid's signature skills are more so tied to his speed and agility, and that's not to deny his premier playmaking traits, but it's the pace that he's able to execute at that truly separates separates him from his peers. We aren't saying that Yager wasn't a great playmaker or that McDavid isn't a great goal scorer, it's just that their defining traits are different. It's also worth noting that Yager won Stanley Cups in his first two NHL seasons, cementing his status also in a different way. But if Connor McDavid manages to bring a Stanley Cup to Edmonton, it will change everything. Wrapping up this video with one last comparison between the two players. The benchmark of era-adjusted production is a divisive measuring stick in the hockey world. Comparing the careers of players from different generations is a sensitive topic, but for shits and giggles, we ran a 2023-24 projection for Connor McDavid's production based on his NHL stats over the past three seasons. According to Kubota's era-adjusted player comparables model, McDavid's projected production coming into this current NHL season most closely matches none other than a 1999-2000 Yaramir Yager. Connor McDavid and Yaramir Yager are very different players with similar point totals and accolades through an isolated eight-season stretch. Had Yager played in the NHL through his entire career, it's more than likely that he could have scored 2,000 points, and given his current production, it's far from unreasonable to suggest that McDavid could do the same. Will McDavid play into his mid-40s? No, probably not, but if he stays healthy and consistent, he won't need to. For What's Happening Hockey, I'm Tate Laycraft.